Welcome to the second round of the NIT. We're in Columbus, Ohio at Value City Arena for the Florida Gators and the Ohio State Buckeyes. This is part of the Monmouth bracket. This is a two versus three matchup. And we're in Columbus because they're working on the O Center in Gainesville, so the Gators are on the road for the length of the NIT. That was planned, and we'll tell you more about that as the game goes on. Gators are in the white, Ohio State in there, red, and we're underway, and Ohio State will not have Keita Bates Diop again as he is struggling with an illness. Take a look at the lineup for Ohio State. You know, one of the things without Diop, Williams, number 15, had 18 against Akron. He's an explosive, quick scorer. And this guy right here, Levin, is really good. Ohio State played pretty much seven people. That was it. It's Mitchell on the drive, and he misses, and Florida gets the rebound. Maybe they should have practiced three pointers. Off the glass. That all the way down and came back out. Hayes with the rebound and the putback. That's Casey Hill. There's a three ball, and the Gators go back to tournament right now for them to play. You know, they're playing good teams, playing at home, keep practicing. Really if they want to keep playing at home, they got to win and hope George Washington beats on because Allen goes the distance off the steal in Florida. Allen Thompson first of the game. Contested shot and with a... Casey Hill with a headband. Neither team's going to go terribly deep in their bench today. That looked like a travel by Robinson and Allen will roll the three in. As a former IU player, that was a heck of a day yesterday. It was a wonderful game, too. That's real rejection. It's real timing. That's timing. That is back to, you know, so much the NIT is about who wants to be here. And right now, Ohio State looks like they have really not a lot of interest in being here. Florida, great interest. Ooh, Lyle, a tough shot off the glass. He got a triple-double earlier this season against Rutgers, just the fifth in Buckeyes history. Yeah, Lyle looks like he wants to be here. But everybody else, nobody's really down in the stands. No one's keeping the ball in front of him right here, right to the lane. But Hill dribbling through traffic and gets the bounce off the rim. Better, much crisper. And Hill tried to thread the needle. The pass intercepted him. He'll try again. Williams was a great three-point shooter out there, but Loving grabs the rebound. Williams flashes and scores, and he'll get a chance to make the three-point play. Finney Smith is a key Stanford in the 2014-2015 season. Open three. Finally one falls for underneath with Cam Williams. Defense got lost. The defense got lost again. Yes, Ohio State, 4 of 14 shooting. Florida, 8 of 13. Another turnover by the Gators. Thompson hit a head pass to Lyle, and he'll wisely, because he was all he saw were white shirts there. And he'll get a kiss. Jenny has a tremendous upside. He's got to get himself in better shape. Got to understand how to involve teammates earlier in possessions. But man, oh man, does he have a lot of game. Ohio State was ready for that screen. Chioza breaks in the middle, wide open, and Chioza with a scoop. I'm telling you, Ohio State has not kept the ball in front. Chioza took advantage of Harris right there. Casey Hill has been going wherever he wants to go with the basketball. Ohio State's got to shore that up. Loving. Perfect shot on the three shoot. While trying to go to Thompson, instead goes by the defense, or tried to, and Hayes gets the rebound. Florida wants to run, but Chioza, middle open yet again. He'll dish to Hill. He'll drive on Thompson. Spectacular oh. shot, Casey Hill. Poor recovery by Mitchell, and a fantastic finish. Loving, however. That sends Thompson to the bench with his second foul. So Ohio State missing some size in the middle. They'll turn to Daniel Giddens. Had a nice flip by Hayes off to Casey Hill. Well, the middle got closed that time. Leon, line drive three for Justin Leon. Offense here, he'll set the screen. Williams goes the other way with it, and the Tony Parker doesn't go the right now. Now you talk about small. He's small. Yeah, he's small. He gets in a great stance, but so far oh. today, Casey Hill's gone around him every chance he gets. Robinson missing on that big rebound by the little guy, Harris. Leads the break all the way. And a foul by Giddens. If I took UConn and gave you everybody else in the women's tournament. I'd be mad at you. Yeah, I know, right? And those, you know, look, South Carolina's fantastic, and Dawn Staley's done an amazing job. Notre Dame as well. 
And meantime, some of that out hustling that you've talked for the Buckeyes, Dan, they have not yet been able to overcome. And there's part of the problem right there. Chiosa just marches. Faked everybody out. Kappa didn't give it to Allen and went to the rim. Ohio State really struggling with effort. Lyle step back. Three ball. Perfect. To Chiosa. Trying to go underneath and it's stolen. Williams, one on one. Off the glass it up. Just now getting across the timeline as Williams gets the left handed layup and good. It would be a miracle. They were down by 12 and looking very sluggish. Lyle will try it. Rebound Ohio State. And they're within one. They've got to go a little bit in transition. So will Ohio State, with the ball here, get a lead? Thompson trying to clear some space underneath. And not yet. Florida playing without John Igbuno. He was recovering from hand surgery, not with the team. Get of HD out, not available again due to illness for the Buckeyes. Hill on the drive. Beautiful dish and waiting for it. On the baseline is a guy that sat for a while. Hot big time recruit. He stripped it away from Mitchell, though. Mitchell brought the ball down to the shorter level of where Hayes is at. Casey Hill's had really good. Excuse me, where Hill is at. And Hill is at getting an assist on the give and go, and Hayes. So Harris is a five foot nine freshman from Dayton. That shot, or pass, I should say, blocked by the Gators, and Hayes has played well. Here's Hill against Harris, and Harris can't do much against that. Hit 14. Yeah, they, they took David Bell as a project, and this is what David Bell does. He can play pick and roll basketball defense pretty well, not much offensively. Robinson into the middle, and he gets the roll around on the rim. Opportunity here for Lyle. Eschews the three, goes inside, missed it. Tapped up, and Florida controls. They want to run. Hill, he's made good decisions. Oh, oh my goodness, he missed that one. On the putback, though, the effort by Kiveris Hayes, 10 points. That's a key player for Florida today with a Boomer out, and he has played great. Hit ahead, Hill. Same thing here. Jaquan Lyle is the guy. Behind by double digits again. Well, they've got to get the ball out and down a little faster and loving right there. Every shot that Ohio State's taken has been soft, but this kid's just blown by. Hill just destroyed the defense that time. Well, I've never really been coached before this year. I mean, he went to high school when the coach enabled him, went to a prep school that was designed strictly for basketball. So he's learning, and he'll get back. Well, that was nearly their way. This is the basketball capital of the United States over the weekend. We had the, the Westerville South. Westerville South with their first stage. Dave Lamont, Value City Arena, our home for the afternoon. And the Buckeyes have trailed the entire game. John Glenn beat uh, LeBron's team. St. Vincent, St. Mary. On the drive and through the defense. Yeah, I'm not really picking on a kid. I, I'm just trying to tell you the way the game goes. You see a kid play great. And you're like, well, why aren't they better? Well, you got to play both ends. Hill again. Indefensible right now or undefensible. They now a trap. Gators handle it very expertly. Lochioza cross court hit. Finney Smith passed up to three. But Leon did. Finney Smith gets the assist. Yeah, Finney Smith just went right around the defense. Oh, and almost a, it was a steal by Chioza. Oh, that's just terrible passing by Ohio State. They have given the Gators an open three and they don't pay. Oh, that's making them pay. Leon. You reach, you foul. We had a great angle. Look at this. Yeah. Execution is perfect by the Gators. At the Williams will try again. No good. Giddens gets the rebound. And he'll score on the effort. That really hasn't happened in, in, in NCAA basketball. So now Ohio State has to take it out as opposed to get a wide open three left wing. But it didn't matter. Give it go. Finney Smith, too easy. Yeah, Ohio State. I think he just told him, look, Giddens has four, but I was leading out there. He's giving great energy. He wants the ball right now. Hayes with two free throws. He's four for four at the line for Florida. Drive open. Oh, my! Yes! Allen. 
really want to shoot that. There's the extra effort for Florida that's defined their game today. We had two other guys, Williams and Lyle, standing out here in front of us. Got one missed. Hey, Florida's given Ohio State every opportunity here. Yep, Ohio State's missed some open shots. Harris behind the back to get it. Oh! And he'll get a chance to make it the old-fashioned way. 80%. Correct. So you do win a class over here. I knew you did. Nine to shoot. Finney Smith thought about the three. Five to shoot. Chioza. Long three. Lyle gets the rebound. Harris with a big crossover into traffic. Missed with a whistle. That will buy that one for six from the field. Harris has had a significant impact. This Florida has brought to this game. And he hits his two free throws, four points for the freshman. And a little bit of token pressure here by the Buckeyes again. A little bit more than token. And she has a clever man. Breaks it. Open three with three on the shot clock. Right spot, and again, the pace and the penetration by the guards of, of Florida have led the way. And they're getting good looks on Ohio State. Williams just can't make them three for a change. That's really unusual as Giddens kept it alive. Control of the game, Casey Hill. Finney Smith, nice shot fake. Clears some space for himself. Rebound, Finney Smith, and underneath, Hayes kept it alive. Yeah, again, run out by some Ohio State players. Finney Smith, after the shot fake, just went and chased the ball down. A bolt out there as a leader, and... No trouble for that. That went a bit strong, and the extra bounce. You know, Loving had made a sweet move he to did. get around for that, but that second bounce threw off his timing. It did. He was ready to get it if it didn't hit the rim. Now you just got to play solid defense, get a stop, and go down and score if you're Ohio State. Before he just hang on to it for a while. He'll almost have it taken away. He goes in among the trees and gets it to Chioza, his co point guard. Open Finney Smith, wide open. Splash down Finney Smith. Chioza went right around Lyle. It shrunk the defense, and Finney Smith, being a veteran, recognized the open spot, and that's a tough one right there. That's tough for Ohio State to come back from that. 12 for Finney Smith. Florida with a very balanced attack. Loving tries to come back, and he gets it. There you go. Now things. And she has a can to both. It's still manageable with 66 seconds and counting to go. Here's Harris will lead him up. Crunching screen by Giddens. And that left it open for the layup. Finney Smith, he got bumped clearly by Loving. But also passing. That was a really good inbounds pass. To Finney Smith, your Ohio State's and Chioza made a great high pass to Finney Smith. That's why you also why you have two point guards in the game. Finney Smith with his eighth double double of the season, and 13th for his career. Lyle, that's a tough contested three. Rebound, Finney Smith. And Florida starting to put the chomp, if I can say that, on this one. We're going to have to file if they want the clock stop. If not, we're, this is over. Yeah, you don't see them reaching. Just a token effort that time by Loving. Florida's going to win this one. Be their 21st win on the year, and they will go to the next round of the NIT to play either Monmouth or George. And Mata's going to sit back later and think, all right, I got all these guys coming back. We'll see what the offseason's going to be. Yeah, but he's got to get his guys, his main guys, Lyle and Loving, Cam Williams. He's got to get them better. Lyle has to get better. Loving has to get a leadership element to him. Appropriate that Harris will get the last lap for Ohio State, perhaps, for this game, as he's been terrific off the bench. A spark plug at a time when Ohio State was climbing back in. But they will leave this game today never having held the lead. No, it was from Jump Street. It was right from the beginning. You could see that Florida wanted the game more, wanted to be here more. It took Ohio State to the woodshed from the start.
So the Florida Gators leading wire to wire will move on to the NIT third round. Play either Monmouth or George Washington, Dan. It'll be an interesting game no matter what happens. I'll tell you what, Florida wants to be in this tournament. Florida plays hard, and that kid right there keys it. Final score for the final time. The Gators win this one by nine. Coming up next, tennis to BNP, Maribus Open at Indian Wells. For Dan Dockage, I'm Dave Lamont. We thank you for watching. Good afternoon from Columbus.